Welcome back to uh, Geometry Classroom. Today we'll talk about Pythagorean Theorem. In this uh, lesson, we'll learn about Pythagorean Theorem and we'll learn how to use Pythagorean Theorem to find the missing sides right, in a right angle. Now, Pythagorean theorem is a theorem that is uh, uh, valid only for right triangles. Yes? Now, first, let's define what is a right triangle. Remember, when uh, we learn about classification of triangles, we defined what is a right triangle. And a right triangle is a triangle, right? that has one of its angle equal 90, yes? Now, a triangle and, of course, a, a right triangle has three sides, right, and three angles. In a right triangle, the side opposite to the right angle, opposite, is called hypotenuse. As you can see, this side yeah, is opposite to the right angle. It's face to face. That's why we say opposite. Yes? And it's called hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side in the right triangle. The other two sides of the triangle are called leg, legs. Good. Next. Pythagorean theorem indicates or shows the relationship that is between the sides of a right triangle. And what does this theorem state? If a triangle is a right triangle, then the sum of the squares of the legs or the length of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse or the square of the length of the hypotenuse. Now, as we can see in this diagram, the length of hypotenuse is C and the length of the other two uh, legs are A and B. So, if a triangle is a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's one of the most famous uh, formula in geometry and in mathematics. Good. Next. We have uh, so-called converse of the Pythagorean theorem, right? Remember how you, we uh, write a converse? By switching the place of hypothesis and conclusion. If we look at the initial statement, let's go back to our uh, previous slide. Remember, here we deal with a conditional, right? So what does this conditional state? If a triangle is a right triangle, then the sum of the squares of the length of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. Yeah? So the hypothesis would be this statement. This is, remember, P. And Q, Q is the statement after word then. This is Q. Yeah? So, the converse of this statement is obtained by switching the place of hypothesis and conclusion. So, how will uh, look like the converse? If if 
the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse, then a triangle is a right triangle. Good. So, and this is our statement, right? So, if the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the two other sides, then the triangle is a right triangle. It's simple, right? Now, let have two practice problems with uh, Pythagorean theorem. First, we have this uh, triangle. Uh, as we can see, the length of the legs are given, right? Th these are legs. This is hypotenuse. How we know this is a hypotenuse? We know because this side is opposite to the right angle and is the longest side. According to Pythagorean theorem, we know c squared equals a squared plus b squared, right? Now, we have to identify what is, how long is c, a, and b in our example. We know C stands for hypotenuse. And hypotenuse in this example is X. So we substitute C with X here, right? So you're going to have X squared equals. Now, what are the values of A and B? Here, doesn't matter which one is A and B, yeah, as long as you put them in the right place, yeah? So. For example, let's consider A equals 10. Yes, so we uh, substitute A with 10 and we square. Then plus B is 24. Yeah, we square 24. And then we start solving this equation. Now we're going to have X squared equals. Now, 10 squared, as we know, is not 10 times 2, is a repeating multiplication. Would be 10 times 10, yeah? Plus 24 squared would be 24 times 24. So, x squared would be 10 times 10 is 100, plus 24 times 24 would be 576. If we add these numbers, you're going to get 676. So let uh, rewrite this uh, last uh, uh, equation, 676. Now, we need x, but we have x squared. How we find x? By squaring root 677, uh, 676. So you're going to get x equals square root of 676. Uh, in this case, uh, 676 is a perfect square, right? Which is the square of 26. So we found the length of the hypotenuse, which is 26. And another example. What is the value of x? Express your answer in simplest radical form. Uh, we will not um, uh, express in simpler radical form. We'll try to estimate at the end. Now. What we notice here, we notice the hypotenuse is given, right? What is the hypotenuse? Is the longer side and is opposite to the right angle, is face to face to the right angle. So this is C in the formula of Pythagorean theorem. What else is given? One of the legs, let's say A. 
and we need the other leg, let's say B. So we simply apply the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Now, we know C equals 20. We replace. So you're going to have 20 squared equals A is 8, right? We square 8 plus B is x. We replace B with x is x squared. Good. Then we uh, square both 20 and 8. 20 squared would be 400 equals 8 squared would be 64 plus x squared. Remember, our goal is to solve for x. First, we get rid of 64 by subtracting 64 on both sides. Good. So if you uh, subtract them, you're going to get 336. These two cancel out and remain x squared. Remember, to get x, we simply square root 336. Now, 336 is uh, somehow close to 324, which is a perfect square, is the square of 18. So, because we have a little bit more than 324, we can uh, approximate yeah, at, uh, the square root of 36 with 18.33. So, x would be 18.33. That's the length of the leg. Yeah? So, this is uh, all we have for today. We'll uh, see uh, uh, soon with another topic related to Pythagorean theorem, because we are not done. Thank you for watching my video.